Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know about you, but I've been having a very anxious week and I just feel like a sense of heaviness, but my life is pretty good right now. So, and there's really no complaints, but just this season where I am, I just, I've been feeling very anxious lately and I need to get out of that. So I figured what always brings you happiness and joy, let's do something that will get you in a good headspace. I'm like, okay, well, what is that thing that always brings you to that happy place? Harry Potter. So with that, I drove myself. We're gonna have to a little shopping center by me. I have a couple goodies that I wanna pick up. We have to go to Target. And there's a really great Barnes and Nobles here that has such amazing Harry Potter tchotchkes and things and books. And I think I might treat myself to something, you know, do a little retail therapy. Do I need something? No. But am I gonna get something? Well, I hope so. But if not, it's fine. I think I would really like to get myself the Fantastic Beasts Mina Lima version. It's so beautiful, just the green, green, the gold filigree and the paper work and the art and the whole everything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It is cheaper at Target, and I've noticed that if you go online, they will price check or price match it for you. So I always go to the customer service desk. That's how I got a lot of my uh, Harry Potter ones. And they're like, yeah, no problem. So fun little trip, the uh, trick for you. And also in Barnes and Nobles, I want a new book. I don't know, what are you guys reading? Are you, <sighs> let me know in the comments below. I need a good book. I'm on this app called Likewise, and it's a really fun one where you can suggest other books. You can ask people, what are you reading? I'm looking for something. Do you have any suggestions? And I really love it. It's a fun app if you're a bookworm, which I totally am. I found a lot of great people with suggestions and really, really fun app to be on. Because sometimes when you go to the store, you're like, I've forgotten every subject that I like. I don't know what I'm into. I, you go blank. So it's a really nice one to look up if you need something on the spur of the moment. It's awesome. But I think we just need to go in it. Let's just go for an adventure. Let's have a great day. Let's unwind. It's a long weekend. Got out of work a little early. So let's just go enjoy it. Come on. Let's go. You guys have not tried these celsius for the win amazing just gonna say it my target sucks this one is beautiful i don't know if you have the ones like a super target near you this one had like fresh groceries and yogurts and beautiful spreads in the middle of the aisles it was lovely and the makeup mine does not have that disappointing but that's besides the point. Moral of the story, we got the goods. All right, let's gear up. Here we go, let's do some damage. Break.
took a little break from shopping. Barnes and Nobles was in there forever, just touching and feeling all the books and the things. I think the employees were looking at me a little weird after a while, but I'm like, I love Harry Potter. I make no apologies for that. I took a little break, went to Cold Stone and got my favorite ice cream. I don't have one near me. I always have to travel at least like a good distance to get it. And I'm just so exciting or excited. I'm just having a really nice day. I feel like the anxiety has ebbed and just trying to relax. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Find things to be happy about. And that doesn't always equate to shopping, but it was nice to just see Harry Potter things and just <sighs> breathe and be relaxed. So now I have to gear up for the long ride home, but that's okay. Just namaste. So I'm finally back home. Got lots of really great things. I'm excited about my purchases. Let's just get right into it. First, like I said at Tarjay, we got the really beautiful books. Here is the first one. I love the outline, but it's really nothing special if you're gonna do an anniversary edition, but it's beautiful. I think it just fits the cover art really well and it's just beautiful no matter what they do because Harry Potter can do no wrong. We've got that one and then we've got this beautiful Nino Nima version of Fantastic Beasts. Just, I absolutely love looking at all of the artwork. I mean, oh, it's just so cool. I mean, they just put a lot of work into this and she and her husband just, they always knock it out of the park with all of their prints and oh I just spend so much money <laughs> on their things uh, so I'm going to de okay. it's just so pretty. I'm definitely gonna make a nice cup of tea later and just peruse the pages and just really take it all in because it's go oh, spoiler alert look at that oh, we've got pop outs Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, I love create collecting nice quality pieces. I kind of have to remind myself it's not the quantity of things that you have, but quality. And I know it's really hard to always look at other people's collections and say, wow, you have so much stuff I have to get there, but I think it's just important to find pieces that you relate to that make you happy, don't break your bank, and just progressively go along the way. You don't have to get everything at once. And with that, <laughs> I love this so much. Look at how pretty that mandrake is. And if you watch some of my other videos, I always say I don't like taking things out of boxes because in my head it devalues it, which in the collecting world it does in theory. But I just, I don't know. I think the boxes are kind of cool too, but that mandrake just looks so cute. I love him. Beautiful. This is a noble collection piece. It, I've been eyeing it for a while and I'm really glad that I finally am just like, okay, buy it and really glad that I did it. It's just so much detail in this little tiny guy and I I think I'm going to start collecting more in of these ones in the cases but really fun piece. New, I, I love it. And this one everyone in there everyone has it but me because I just I don't know some of these pieces are quite expensive and sometimes you just don't feel like paying for them but finally I caved. We got Hermione's bag. I just love the detail. I have been putting this one off for a very long time because I was like, ah, that's just so much money on a piece of fabric that, but with that being said, it's a beautiful piece, just the purple and the ribbon and the stitch work. It's a gorgeous piece. Kind of looks like a big loofah, <laughs> but I love it and I'm really happy I got it. And 
Now the hard part is just trying to find space on my shelves and move things around and maybe while I'm at it, dust, which I hate doing. But I'm really curious, what is your favorite piece? Where do you shop? Do you do small shops? Do you do Noble Collection, the big wigs? What do, what do you get? I think my favorite piece is from Noble Collection. It's the golden egg from Goblet of Fire, the mermaid scene. It was kind of the first piece that got me into collecting, so I think it holds a little bit more magic to me because it just really got me into all of this. Um, but that that was, yeah, I think that's my favorite piece. But I love all of my little tchotchkes and they bring me so much joy and happiness looking at them, but I definitely think the egg holds a special place in my heart. But on that note, I just wanna say thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope your week is not stressful and if it is, Find something that brings you joy and happiness and peace, whether it's for a walk, going out and seeing Harry Potter tchotchkes like I did at a bookstore or watching a film, something. But with that, thank you so much for being here and I will see you on the next venture. And like always, sending you magic and happiness.